Welp guys, I am back on YouTube, finally. It's been like four days I haven't uploaded or even streamed otherwise. Oh, it's just because I have to explain a lot of things and a lot of stuff. I have to just get out my freaking like breath in my head because it's been really just, it's been really bad this week, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna go ahead and just explain it. So you are all been wondering why I was actually gone for four days. Does some of y'all really do care and some of y'all don't? I mean, that's really fine. I'm going to be honest because I'm just really going to say this is how it all started. This is how it all began of me not going consistently uploading videos or whatever. And I know this is not a gaming video. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just start this off. So at first that Sunday, so I was having a good Sunday after I woke up like at 10 or 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. I was over here just like, oh, yep, yippee, wahoo, I'm gonna get on my phone. Not even that, check my stuff on my phone in the morning. Then moments later, I want to go ahead and brush my teeth, you know, having a good time. And then after that, I ate breakfast, which was really good. And then after that, after I was done, this is the, this is the moment it all started right here. So when I go watch, like, you know, my brother, like, me and my brother were just watching, like, Star Wars and then some Halo. We're, we're just in my room, like, his room. I was over there just like, yeah, let's go ahead and go watch some, uh, Bad Batch and some Halo. Then after that, I sat on the freaking floor. And you want to know what just happened there? Once I was just sitting down there, bruh. Like, bro, this is literally me. This is, this was literally me. When I was about to sit on, on the floor. So I was already sitting like this. Like this guys. I was like this the whole time. And then this is where it started to hit me. When I was done. And I was coming to my bed. And then a few hours later. I started to feel it. Like I started. Oh my god bro. Like the process. The developing. All of this. All of that. Like the sickness was starting to develop on my body bro. I started to find out at Monday. It took me a day. It took me the day to find out. Because once I laid my brother's uh, pillow, that's where all the sickness started like spread out on my body. It spread out all the disgustingness, the nasty stuff, all, all inside my body, bruh. And that's where it basically just started. So after Sunday was over, Monday was starting to like getting weird. It was getting weird like before the afternoon i was starting to act like oh my gosh why does my body feel like i'm gonna get sick and then everybody started telling me you okay you okay like my family's telling me you okay and then my brother's just like confused he's saying what the hell why you got sick or something like that i don't know dude it's it's really been a bad experience but yeah i started on monday i don't know why i don't know at the afternoon i was like oh my god i need help bro like i was i was really sad because the my parents were actually sick at monday too like they actually had like COVID and all that it was it was just bad i'm not gonna lie it, it just went it went all shit like on monday and then once we get into nighttime, I was over here just sleeping normal, having a good time until moments hit at 3 or 4 a.m. My throat started to hurt like crazy. Like my throat couldn't even like breathe. I was just, like dying, dude. Like I couldn't even breathe for shit. I was just like coughing all over. I had to bring a water bottle. Just to spit all the nasty gooey boogers. I don't even want to talk about it, bro. It's nasty. I know some of you are so disgusted by this because I'm telling you, the sickness in this freaking world is so disgusting, man. I don't like being sick. I'm going to be honest. I've been actually been suffering through pain with sickness. But yeah, after uh, 4 a.m., my throat started to hurt. I started spinning and then I tried to fight it off to go to sleep. But nah, I couldn't, man. I had to get my ass up out of the fucking bed, go over there in the kitchen, get sink water, put salt water. I, bro, it, it, it was so painful, I swear, bro. Like, the salt water thing was so mad annoying. Like, once I went over there to my kitchen, I started going to, to the sink, to my bathroom, just to spit out all the freaking nastiness. 
And I'll tell you, man, it was so painful once I done this, man, because I hated it. I hated so much about this, man. And then after that, after like after in the morning, I started to feel like poop. Like, dude, I couldn't even breathe. All my body was hot. Like, I didn't even know I was hot at this point because my, it, it's because, like, I don't know. It's because, like, when you get fever, it sucks. It sucks to get fever, dude. It's one of the worst pains you will ever go through, man. Not even joking. I had to take another bath about this. And I know I haven't been making gaming videos. Dude, I was thinking about working out. Like, no, no. At Tuesday in the morning, I was like, shoot. I'm not going to go ahead and take a shower or go eat. I'm going to actually go work out. So after that, I went to go work out, hitting the weights. Man, I was so, I was struggling so hard, man. Because I couldn't even feel my body. Like, my body was hurting. Not even that. My head was hurting consistently bad, dude, once I was working out. Well, at least I finished the workout like 30 minutes later. Like, dude, it was so painful because my head started to hurt. It started to hurt like it's freaking just a hammer just freaking hitting my head. Hitting my freaking forehead badly, dude. I, I just don't like how that sickness just got to me, man. That's that Tuesday, man. Like, in the morning. Like, I, my head was hurting. Nah, I took a bath at first. Nah, I took a bath first because in the morning, I, I just felt like shit. I felt horrible. And then after that, I took a shower. It, it didn't feel quite as well, too, by the way. Because when I took a shower, I felt like it got it worse, to be honest. It just did, it just didn't like hit me as well. I don't know why. And then after like uh the afternoon, I tried to take a nap because um my freaking throat, or I should say my whole entire body was tired. I was really tired, man. And after that, I had to like upload one video. One freaking video, guys. I know some of y'all saw it because it was finance or fairies, but I had to upload one video before I took a nap. And then after that, after I took a nap for three hours, my body was still hot. It was still flaming, dude. Like, I couldn't even stand, like, how this was actually happening, man. Because it was just ridiculous how I've been through this situation of me just being sick. Because I just don't like being sick. I'm going to be honest, bro. It's just so painful how... We're just going through these things and then going through fever, going through this, going through that. And I know I'm just making this video because I haven't seen y'all for four days. And I actually miss y'all, I'm not even joking, but let's just go ahead and explain this. So after that, I took a nap and all that. After I woke up, he says, Lord, I was just terrible, terrible. Like, I couldn't even get up, man. I was just too hot. My, my body was almost collapsing, bro. I almost collapsed to the floor because how the fever is just overpowering me, man. Like, I try to fight through it. I try to fight through it, man. And I couldn't. I couldn't, bro. It's just, it was just too painful. I had to take a lot of medication pills just to heal myself. Like, you know, like healing, like the your nose, your throat, the fever. Bro, you know how much my temperature was before? Dude, when once my dad checked it, bro, it was 102, man. 102. That's the craziest part about it, bro. Like, I was 102. And then after that... I was really so scared to take the COVID test because I didn't want to. But I don't know if I really did have COVID. I think I did because um, whenever I had like fever, I couldn't get up from the bed or whatever. It just felt so painful. I don't know why. It's just it's just because I don't like when I'm like sick or something. Man, it's just it just makes me like hopeless. It makes me like weak, and I just don't like it, bro. I think that was my first time actually getting sick, bro. It was one of the worst experience. And then at Wednesday, we're actually getting there, bro. Getting it there. I mean, I mean Tuesday night, I was still feeling like shit, too. I still take the freaking bath, showers, or whatever. It was just, like, the same old routine. But this one was getting a little there. We're getting real there because my, my brother started uh, giving me, like, vitamins, like, vitamin uh, drinks. And then my mom, too. 
And then she tried to heal me up with the pills. And then you know what's the worst part about this man? You know what my mom gave me? She gave me one of the worst freaking red pills that you had to drink it. And then after that, you start feeling your stomach pain. And then your stomach starts to hurt. And then you start like saying, oh my gosh, my stomach hurts because I just ate something that is so horrible. But never mind, it's just that one red pill that makes your stomach hurt so horribly. It also makes your like, you know... If you go to the bathroom, you, you take a shit well. I don't know why. I'm, I'm sorry. That, that was my language. But yeah, man. I don't know, bro. It's just like... It, it's just too much I can talk about. Because it's just too horrible to say that I was sick for the past four days, man. And it was getting bad. So after the third day, we were getting there. And then after that... uh. I was just like feeling like normal, feeling like I was actually getting a little better because Monday and Tuesday I was feeling like shit and then Wednesday we're just getting there, like getting a little bit there, like you know, we just start walking around, I had to take more vitamins, I had to like do a lot of stuff and after I ate dinner I had the best appetite food ever man, like my food taste was starting to get back, it was actually good because Tuesday I, I didn't really enjoy dinner as much because I did ate some gauntlet with some rice. It, it was pretty good, but I didn't have a good appetite because I was actually really sick badly. It, it, it's just a sad story I had to go through. But yeah, Wednesday I did ate some gauntlet with beans. It was really good, I'm not gonna lie. So I did ate that and I had like a good time whenever I enjoyed it. Like when I ate it, it was so good. It was really good how my mom made the dinner to be honest. And yeah, after that, um, I just went to bed, even though I still felt like shit still. And then my dad brings the towel, you know those wet towels that your Hispanic father just brings you? And then you just put it in your head and then your stomach. Um, he did lower my temperature down. And I think that's where I started to get better. Because at Thursday, hold on, at Thursday in the morning, no, 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 bro. I think Thursday morning was worse because once I woke up, once I woke up, bro, my throat started to hurt horribly. And then moments later, after after the shower, after the bath, when I was done, my head started to hurt like hell. Like, I'm telling you, my head was just collapsing. My head was just not in the good place. My head was just like circling around. Like, man, this was hurting so bad. It was hurting so bad. Like, I, I kept screaming on my head to tell me, stop, stop hurting. It was so painful, man. Like, I'm telling you, the painful experience of my head hurting because of the sickness I had for the past four days is horrible. But yeah, after the head was hurting was gone, I was just blessed full down, just happy that it was gone. Because at moments later, after my brother got up from school in the gym, he started giving me a lot of vitamins. So after the vitamins he gave me, I started to walk around out of my house, inside my house. Like, dude, I was so energetic and happy at the same time because once I walked around, I started to feel a little bit better. And then that all that sweat in my body just, like, it's trying to get off all the germs inside of me, dude. Yeah, it just felt like the best thing once I took all those vitamins, dude. Like this, I, I mean, I started drink this the entire the entire freaking week. I started drinking Gatorade because of the sickness I had. I could have drink nothing new to be honest, cause I, my my body was just not used to it. But yeah, I don't know, man. It's just like after all the vitamins that he took me, and I started eating some breakfast with him. The breakfast was honestly good. I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, I guess that was really good. And then after we ate dinner, we ate chicken Alfredo. With some salad, with some breadsticks. Man, that was really good. I'm not gonna lie, too, because I started having a good appetite. I did manage to finish my food. Like, man, and then after, like, Friday, at Friday, yes, at Friday, uh, whenever I slept that Thursday, um, I started to, like, feel, like, better. All the sickness was starting to get off. Well, first, I gotta tell you this. Once I checked my temperature, like before at the afternoon or last night, it was at 97 or 98. And that was where I started to get better. I started to be like, yes, I am going back to my roots. I am going back to be GCMX, let's go. And then after that, I started hitting the bed. I started going to sleep. And then I started feeling that I was hot again. And I was like, shit, not again, man. But it was actually the sweat that was actually coming off of me from being sick for like, Four days, I should say. 
But yeah, man, I don't know how that actually happened, but I'm glad that it's all over. I'm glad it's all over, bro. Because after the 100%, it actually went down to 96 in the morning because I started to take another bath. That was the last freaking bath session I have ever did at Friday. Because after Friday, I got out of there. I freaking lay on the bed. And then it brought me down to 96. And I was actually proud of myself. Because I knew I would survive the entire of slaughter and pain of me being sick. And that was one of the worst things I've ever gone through, man. And it's just, I don't know, man. It just has to be one of the worst things I've ever just been gone through, man. It's, it's I know I keep repeating the same words, but I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn because I'm trying to speak out of my fucking words. Because I hate being sick. I hate being like this. And I don't like me being consist inconsistent every day. Like, for real. And I'm glad I got better at Friday because I started to like feel like in the afternoon I started to feel much better because I started eating my favorite foods again and then I started finishing my burger from freaking lunch which I had, which is called Tasty Town one of the best burgers you ever get bro because I when I once I finished that it was really good like I actually loved it I'm not gonna lie because after I finished that it was the smacking delicious bro. Like, that was it. And then after that, I started watching my favorite show, Friday Night Smackdown, even on my favorite wrestlers, Roman Reigns. Like, my my energetic, my voice started to come back. It was starting to feel good because I'm telling you, like, it, the, the process of me being sick and then the biggest comeback ever, it's just amazing. Amazing how I survived the entire days of me being sick. That was really good. I'm not going to lie. So now, after Friday... After I slept well and everything, I started to feel better once back again. So today, I am way better again. And I'm so back to being freaking Chris now. So now I can actually talk to y'all. I can go back to live streams. I can go back to videos. Now I can do whatever I want now. Now I can actually finish all the hard work I've been actually doing, man. I'm glad I get to see y'all back. I'm glad I get to see everyone that is happy I am glad you've been waiting patiently. The some of y'all been waiting patiently. And I'm glad I'm blessed and I'm thankful that y'all been here. And I will always put God first because God did help me. God did help me in this freaking suffering. This this all this bad stuff that's been happening. But yeah, guys, I think this is this is it, guys. This is like a 17 minute session video I've ever did, man. Because all the things I've been through, it's been pain, pain and suffering, pain and suffering, man. I'm really glad y'all really did enjoy this uh, talking session of me just saying I'm back and we need to talk seriously because this is actually important. But yeah, guys, this is just an important message for everyone. And I really hope you're having a good day and I'll see y'all in the next one.